Hey Fire Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for March 20th, 2019. I will tip you down so you can see your cards come out here. Spirit guides and angels, what messages do you have for Fire Signs for the 20th of March? Alright, three cards for uh, Fire Signs, three for the person you're dealing with, three for the outcome. Bottom of the deck will be your shared energy. All right, three cards for our fire signs. Thank you. First card out is the Five of Swords. The Princess of Wands. And the Two of Pentacles in reverse. And the Six of Cups also flipped. Put those up. And the person you are dealing with, their energy, the Four of Swords. The Ace of Cups. And they also had to flip the hair. The Nine of Wands and the Lovers in Reverse. Your guys' outcome for the day is justice in reverse. The seven of pentacles. And the queen of cups in reverse. Your guys' shared energy in bottom of the deck is the eight of wands in reverse, clarified by the ten of swords in reverse. And the queen of wands. All right. So let me you guys just a little bit further down so you can see your cards okay so um, you guys are walking away from a situation um, walking away from well let's do your guys's shared energy first so there's no communication between you and somebody else whether you cut them off whether they cut you off <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> um this was kind of the final straw to somebody who really um you feel deceived you or this person feels this way about you this situation um it's finally coming to an end it's the end of the cycle you're almost there it's almost done and uh the communication has been like blocked, severed. There is no communication between the two of you um, with this energy. However, in this time of uh, space away from each other, in this time of silence, um, you are recovering, you are healing, and you are looking very, very uh, confident. Your self-esteem is up. Your, you just look great with this Queen of Wands here in your guys' element. So you do have the Five of Swords. You walked away from a situation or somebody walked away from you. I do see for the majority of this, you are the one walking away from a situation that you feel like you can't win. Um, for some of you, you were waiting around for this person to communicate with you. But in this, like I said, in this time of silence, you realize your value, your worth, and you're no longer waiting for them. You're laying down the swords. You're walking away because you know that there's a new beginning out there for you. Um, with somebody who is going to be stable, somebody who's going to offer you just the world, will offer you everything that you have been hoping for and waiting for. You could be um, talking with somebody new, um, you know, cute little pas passionate messages back and forth. Um, this person really brings a lot of spark to your life, a lot of passion to your life. Um, yeah, and it's being clarified with the Four of Wands. So this person has really sparked your interest. This is somebody that you feel you could um, start a life with, build a foundation with, um, ha have a happy home with. Uh, this relationship or this situation that you're dealing with, not the one that you're blocked from, but the one that you have just started talking to somebody with, um, they see you as like marriage material. They have just as many feelings for you as you do for them. 
you are finally finding balance in your life. You are no longer juggling your energy, no longer allowing somebody else to, you know, um, keep you in these rough waters. You're figuring it out. You're finding that balance. You're figuring out, you know, the ups and downs of life. You're just going with the flow, um, having a lot of strength to move forward, a lot of courage to um, forge ahead when sometimes it felt like you couldn't withstand the rough waters. Um, Leo, you're here in the upright as well. So um, feeling very strong at the moment. Very, um, You have a lot of positive outlook for your future. You feel like this person, it feels like you've known this person forever. Um, and you possibly could be uh, dealing with a past life soulmate. Let's see what this Six of Cups is. Yep. Oops. Yeah. One and seven. For me, it's always your uh, life partner. This is a past life soulmate. This is somebody who has come into your life to help you uh, get rid of all the confusion, to help you show you what real love is. Because in these seven of cups, there's only one cup that's true love in there. The rest are illusions, delusions, confusions. So this person is coming into your life really to show you what real love is and to... Um, to really uh, be here for you for the rest of your life if that's if that is what you are wanting to do. The person you are dealing with. There's a four of swords here. A six of swords in reverse. So there's some healing that this person needs to do. Um, they're taking rest. They're relaxing. They're, you know, trying to get their own life figured out. Um, I do feel this is the person that you are in silence with. Um, this person uh, could have cut you off. Uh, because they're trying to figure out how to heal their own life um, because they're having a hard time moving away from a situation that they were already um, involved in. So, you know, they're having a hard time if they were already uh, in a long-term commitment or long-term marriage. This person is trying to, re um, trying to uh, fix that, trying to recover that relationship. Um, even though they have this overload of emotions for you, why is this Ace of Cups here? The Eight of Swords, yeah. Even though they have an overwhelming amount of love for you, they have unconditional love for you, and they do want an, a new beginning in love with you, they're trapped. They're stuck um, with the Eight of Swords. They feel like they're stuck in this situation, once again, um, that they can't get out of. Uh but it's all in their head. They're not really stuck there. They really could offer you this love, um, fire signs, but they're allowing their thoughts and their, you know, um, yeah, their, their friends, their family, anybody around them, they're allowing them to make them believe that they're stuck and they're trying to heal their own, you know, mind, body, and soul to try to move forward and figure out what, um, what to do from here. Why is the nine of wands here? The nine of wands with the nine of wands and that card flew out of there so yeah they're just getting tired of fighting they're getting tired of fighting um to break free from this relationship it's like you know the person they're trying to get out of a relationship with is putting up a fight for them to leave so it's like they're just succumbing to their um because they're tired of fighting to try to get out uh yeah most definitely so they are feeling so very stuck here. So stuck. And they're getting, they're about to the Ten of Wands. They're about to end that relationship. Um, but it's taken them a lot of, it's, it's been a battle for them to get out of the situation they're in. Why is the lovers here in reverse? They do see you as a soulmate. They do see you as somebody that they want to, uh, be in a love with they feel that there is a type uh you know a uh, a bond between the two of you and they have the star so they're not able to choose you now but they're healing they you still are their wish you they still want to be with you um but they are in this time of healing um and divine timing just is not here um at the moment they are needing a lot of um recovery time. They have a lot to heal from. This person could have had a rough childhood. This person, um, 
also could be healing from their own ailments, like uh, they could, you know, have addictions or illnesses that they're dealing with. Your guys' outcome for the day. I have a justice card here in reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups. Okay. So the bottom of the clarifying deck is the Tower, um, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. So um, we will do your shared energy quick. So the first card out, they had an sh uh, emotional shakeup in their life. Their um, other person could have found out about you, and that is why the reason for the cutoff communication was um, they it kind of blew up in their own life, and they had to cut off communication with you in order to try to save this uh, family situation that they were currently in when they met you. Um, you felt betrayed and hurt and heartbroken because they chose to go back to their family. They chose to go back to a spouse or a long-term um, partner and left you just kind of here to fend for yourself and deal with your own emotions um, and, and seem to not even care about you. And that really broke your heart. But fire signs, like I said, in that time of separation, you have regained your strength, your confidence, your um, your just the ability to draw people in. And you are manifesting a new situation. You are manifesting a new partner. Um, this is somebody at a distance from you. You guys could um, live in you know different towns, different states, different countries. But you, in your um, power, in your uh, own truth you brought in a new relationship or you are bringing one in in the next three weeks so like i said you you are walking away from this earth sign for some of you air sign for others but you're walking away from that because you know there's a new beginning for you um you could be messaging somebody back and forth other than this person um that could lead to a uh solid foundation you're getting your life in balance and it's taken a lot of strength and a lot of hard work to get here but you're doing it and you are manifesting in a past life soulmate into your life to bring take away all the confusion about what this situation has brought to you so in your outcome, you have the justice in reverse. So you are letting go of the relationship that was out of balance, unfair. You contributed more to that relationship or vice versa, but you're letting go of that imbalance and you are going to move forward. You're no longer dealing with this person who can't get out of a legal marriage or will not break free from a karmic partner. Uh, and you are moving towards a soulmate connection that is coming in for you. You are being patient with yourself. You're working hard on yourself. You're putting in the time, the effort to bring yourself to um, a place where you feel good, where you feel like you've invested in yourself enough that you feel great. You feel ready to move on. And there is going to be celebration um, and happiness when you come together with this new person coming in and it took a lot of healing to get over this third party but you have done it and it is going to bring you in joy and celebration you are however letting go of the person who cut off communication from you you are emotionally drained from this you are no longer wishing to communicate with them either if they did reach out to you at this point fire signs i feel that you would not um want to be with them anyways that it's it's just been too long and taken too much toll on you guys and um, i do feel that you are letting go of this person who cut you off communication wise who was together with you and then um, went back to another lover or um, a spouse uh, you are letting that person go and allowing this new love to come in for you all right your guys's angel cards for the day are for yourself it's time to take back control of your life which i do feel you are doing you are freeing yourself and you are taking back control of your life and bringing in these new blessings so i do feel that you are accomplishing that fire signs and flirt with this new energy extend your lighthearted energy to others um this is a lot of fun this is a lot of like i said flirty text a lot of cute you know messages so you guys are going to have a good good tuesday 
spirit angels and goddesses. What guidance do our fire signs need for the 20th of March? Thank you. All right, medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing or divine, yeah, divine healing power. So, all right, it says commanding power is not the same as demanding it. Demanding comes from a childlike place akin to a tantrum based upon fear that it might be withheld. Commanding is based upon sure and steady knowledge that you are part of great spirits, grace, and wisdom. You're a lightning rod that can conduct power. Simply connect to the power through unyielding clarity of your thought processes. Don't waver for a moment in your sure and steady decision to be the conduit of the power that already resides within you. Connect to an even bigger source and allow it to amplify your natural power. In this way, you're a steady conductor of the infinite, from the infinite, and to the infinite. In other words, it's all spirit all around you, through you, and whomever you are healing. Awesome. You are a healer. You're being healed. You're moving forward. You're helping um, others get through this time of bullshit that you've already been through. And you're just, um, you are stronger and you are uh, more of a healer than you're giving yourself credit for or that you know. So embrace that power. Connect through the divine, through that infinite source, through meditation, through prayer. Um, and open up that channel for source to come through and allow your healing abilities to be that much more greater. So, all right, fire signs. I hope you have a beautiful Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow. God bless.